Y'all come with Lil Yachty exposes Caribou and Mitch. Y'all, I don't know if y'all caught this, but but this was wild. I, real life, bro. I think that nigga Lil Yachty tired, bro. <laughs> like, has he tried this like twice to have like a group, and he always just goes to shit, bro. Like, like he went literally in off on her, bro. I don't, y'all. I, I don't know. I don't know the details. I don't know the back the behind the scenes. But let's go ahead and get to be welcome new people, new subscribers. Ah. I would even know what Caribou was if it wasn't for me. What the? That's a little wild, I ain't gonna lie. It might be true, but the truth hurt. Nigga said nobody would even know you. You was a nobody if I didn't put you up. That's hard, man. That's that's that, that's tough. I ain't gonna lie, that's a hard like I don't know. What are we talking about, bro? I wrote that verse when we went on on the radar. Do y'all remember that video that I made not too long ago about Caribou leaving the Concrete Boys or supposedly being kicked, all right? And over time, it hasn't been that much information released about the whole thing. Lil Yachty went live and he talked about it, of course, and people just had assumptions of what they thought happened and that was it. But for yeah. some reason, this whole month, Lil Yachty been getting a lot of hate, okay? And one of those reasons he's been getting hate, the biggest reason, matter of fact, I'm sorry, is because he went on a podcast, right? He was on his podcast like he usually be, and he was talking about a topic with one of his homeboys and key Glock was sitting there just listening you feel me and this conversation got so deep to the point where it almost seemed like Lil Yachty was really just disrespecting his homeboy named Mitch but what's really happening between Lil Yachty and Mitch is that Lil Yachty thought it was just a joke like he didn't he claims that him and Mitch were just joking it wasn't nothing crazy and when that tweet had blew up people had took it the wrong way and felt like Lil Yachty was disrespecting his closest friend right throughout the live I'm gonna show y'all right Lil Yachty claims that he talked to Mitch and he wanted him to clarify that hey can you tell them that i wasn't disrespecting you it was just a joke between me and you you know what i'm saying because i don't want them to think that i'm just a flat out mean person or whatever yeah. you know what i'm saying while they was talking or whatever well yadi claims that mitch just declined it he didn't want to do it he didn't want to tell people that he wasn't being disrespected so that's what we're now mitch is mainly like bro like me it's the internet bro you know how they is bro like they don't go with their own narratives their own beliefs so like every time something happens you want me to just be like yo like nah 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 like, I just feel like that's kind of crazy because you know how y'all, y'all know how the internet is, bro. Like, it can literally be like the complete opposite. Like, we don't know these niggas, bro. That's what we like. We get confused. We don't know these niggas. They, we don't know what they do when they like free time when they not on like the internet. Like, these niggas probably cool as fuck behind the cameras. Like, who, like, who knows? Caused Lil Yachty to go on this whole rant and basically expose both of them, Mitch and Caribou. But before I show the full live where Lil Yachty went off on everybody, right? There's a couple of things that made Lil Yachty want to spaz on Caribou because for some reason somebody had brought up and tweeted out. She said, "I see why Caribou left," and she replied to that whole situation, right? Somebody had randomly responded and they said she personally. She told she first told me got her mouth that they kicked her out. They all the people and they were. Something, uh, so you see, bullying, bullying her. She didn't leave. They kicked her out. Two children was the only person that had her back, which is why she, st like, she still only follows him. Mm. Do y'all believe that? Do y'all believe that like, they was bullying her? Uh, bro, like, real life, bro, shit. <laughs> Who fucking knows? Who told me out her mouth? They kicked her out. They are off of people they were in her she didn't leave they kicked her out two trill was the only person that had her and back i feel like bro regardless bro like regardless like from coming from little yada coming from caribou they both trying to sound like the innocent person and nigga, that's what everybody gonna try to do like when like when they get caught doing something it's like yo like they was doing this to me she was doing this did so really bro you gotta take it. both both sides with a grain of salt bro like literally like one side is they truth one side is the other person's truth so like regardless does it really matter, my nigga? We, we, not, we not gonna know. We really not gonna know. Hey, which is why she only follows him. Then somebody responded. She said, oh my God, so they was being fake towards her? She says, bro, she walked in my job, Red Lobster, to order some biscuits. And I asked her why she left. She immediately corrected me and said, I didn't leave. They kicked me out, saying that they were really mean to her in her a lot and she just won't talk about it and majority of the tweet mm. is just saying that she seemed really hurt you know what i'm saying while she was taking this picture with her and she actually shows proof and caribou seems to have like a stunned face and trying to smile you know what i'm saying even though she don't want to smile you feel yeah. me then somebody made another tweet she said why did they do that though i feel like they were hating her success this random girl that took this picture with caribou and then talked to her right she responded she said these dudes were just hating on her the whole time and y'all probably wondering i don't 
I don't think it would be hate, bro. Like, Lil Yachty, like, that nigga is Lil Yachty, bro. That, that nigga is. I, bro, y'all don't. I don't know if y'all know this, but, like, Lil, Lil Yachty be writing a bunch of different songs for different people, bro. That nigga is smart. Like, that's And I don't care what y'all say, bro. That freestyle on the radar, well, it wasn't necessarily a freestyle, technically, because the niggas wrote it before. I don't know. But technically, it wasn't a freestyle. Um, Caribou slid. Like, when I heard that, I was like, oh my god. I was like, who? It? Well, I think I was already listening to Caribou, I think. But yeah, she was hard, bro. She was tough. Like, on that, she went crazy. And for for them to come out and be like, yo, that wasn't her. It spun just a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, cause she floated on that mug. Okay, how do you know that's real? I mean, of course, she already took a picture with her, right? Then yeah. Caribou tweeted something right after this. Said, this age well. And she shows the tweet that she made a day ago that say, I don't say too much because I know going to unfold on its own. And at this point, things just look very suspicious. Not only did Mitch really get just disrespected from Lil Yachty, maybe that was just a little argument, whatever. Maybe yeah. it's not that serious. Okay, that's cool. But then the whole Caribou situation, now this is coming back up. You know what I'm saying? Of her leaving Concrete, it came back up. Now Lil Yachty is back in the hot seat and things are not just looking good for him. So eventually, Lil Yachty randomly went live and he just started spazzing. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all exactly what happened. Let's go. Hey, what's up, people? From God. This whole care to this mint situation online, y'all talking about some uh, Lil Yachty disrespecting his friend. I'm gonna start with care, right? Because mm. right now I'm on some everybody's like, yeah, he look mad. Yeah. Mm. This thing was um, out in the in the public. All I ever did was help care. Care. If you wanna tell this, tell the whole story. Ooh. How you verbally speak with mm. All right. Don't get I don't know whose side to believe no more at this point. Don't hear make it seem like I do remember Kara saying like she do be like that like like cause she's very particular about like, how she wants. She, so like but what he said in this live is absolutely crazy. Like regardless, I can't I can't like I can't defend like she actually did what um he's he said she was doing in the um video. I can't I can't kick you out. I just kick you out cause uh me and you Bro, go ahead and tell people how you talk to people. Mm. How you tell my security guard, oh, you home, oh, you work for me, oh, uh, we a, uh. Security guard? But you ain't got no, you're poor, and, uh, we above you, and how you, you talk to people like they nothing. Mm. You talk to people like they, like they small, like they, like they beneath you. Mm. Bro, 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 tell people, tell people how, tell people how you verbally lose people. How you told me you gonna see me when you see me. You what? talk to people, bro. She was going what? Your brain is clearly in this, bro. How you disrespect people. How you how you go around treating people in your everyday life. Mm -hmm. I've been letting you do this whole thing where you act like you like a princess and you sweet. And you know, like, oh, you just such a good girl. Bro, stop the front, bro. We didn't. Internally, we have withheld your actions since the beginning of me giving you this career. So he basically saying, ever since Caribou started, she always been hostile in front of. I believe that to a certain extent. Like, is it to where he's saying it? I don't know. Regardless, nigga, we don't know these niggas. We don't know these niggas. Like, bruh, regardless, bruh, to just fully believe any one of these two and not have been around. It's literally preposterous. It's literally preposterous. Like, y'all, we gotta stop, like, glorifying, like, people, bruh. Because regardless when, when when somebody gets exposed, we be, like, people be so hurt and butthurt, bruh. Like, you don't know these people. You don't know what they got going on in their day-to-day day -to -day life. Like, this might be, this might be true. And what Caribou said might be true. Others, okay? What are we talking about, bro? What are you talking about? You talking about, bro? Mm. You don't even do nothing. You, what the? F Yo, bro. Nah, no, he mad. It's so crazy to me, bro. Cause I, 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 I've given you a career, mm. and time to time you just disrespect me. I wrote every verse you've done. I, I dressed you. I dressed every, I every verse. Like, every, nigga say he wrote every verse she done. Yeah. That nigga basically just said, nigga. She ain't, she ain't never been shit. And she, like, basically you saying, nigga, if you don't like me, but you like her, nigga, you love me. Cause nigga, like, cause nigga, I made her. Damn, bro. I ain't gonna lie. 
Do y'all feel like the music you lose, like it's like attraction? Like if I ain't gonna lie, some some songs, yes. But like if I really hold you to like a standard, my nigga, and I find out you even wrote that song, like especially one of my favorites, I'm gonna look at you like what? Like if it ever come out Kanye West and I write Saint Pablo thirty hours, oh, I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna be oh, I'm, I'm my stomach gonna be hurt because I y'all. I listen to that song, no, those two songs every morning. Like I listen to five thirty two, like um off his new um Fortress two album. It's go crazy, and you, and, you, and you come and look me in my face and say, yeah, Kanye didn't write that. Wow, y'all like Saint Pablo is. The kind of song to me, like the kind, like if any song, if somebody was like, "Yo, what, what song do you think represent Kanye?" I would say "Say Pop." Oh, fire up, bro! Oh my God! I dress fine every time we stepped out the That's house. Crazy. That's crazy. I put an outfit on everybody. But why the what the fuck are you dressing niggas? Why, why, why you like? Cause I like it's like y'all to fly in the group or something. Like wait, what? I ain't gonna lie. That's a little while. Eight care <laughs> earrings in everybody's ear. I, okay, I don't know if this is just him having an ego or. <laughs> but why? Why is he dressing this? Three chains on all your neck. We bought a cardio watch. I gave you that cone Rolex. Bro, you the most. This, you were. You was watching tables. You was. You was. You was. You was waiting. Mm -hmm. What are we talking about? I changed your mother's life. And you ain't alive. You talking about some weak? You that got me fucked up, bro. Right? You got me. Fucked up, bro. You disrespectful, bro. You talk to people crazy. You tell people that they are nothing. You tell people you gonna spawn them. You, oh you tell God. people they poor and you talk to the you talk to my label crazy. I ain't like niggas for the people that's poor or who ain't got that's like that. That's right. lame. Yeah. That ain't cool. That's Hopefully what Lil Yachty saying isn't true. Cause that's great. You know what I'm saying? You claim I was stealing money from you, bro. Stealing money from you how? Stealing money from you how, bro? You ain't made no money, bro. Ooh. See this the problem with your new artists. Y'all, y'all get popping online, and then you become more popular than your actual music, mm. right? You nine hundred thousand dollars in the hole, and I got every receipt. Mm. Nine hundred. I mean, how does somebody end up nine hundred thousand dollars in debt? Unless it was like school, like how the hell? And even go to school and then get that much debt is crazy. Like, boy, what? Thousand dollars concrete in a hole. Yeah. Got every receipt. I'm gonna post it. What kind of get it, is try that? Me, try me, I'm gonna post it. And I'll post how much money your f streams are made. You got, bro, so I, don't, don't go on the internet and act like I'm you, bro. I've been nothing but loving and caring and paid your bills and gave you money and, and, and took you around the world. And nobody would even know what Caribou was if it wasn't for me. What the f are we talking about, bro? I wrote that verse when we went on on the radar oh so he did write the verse i knew i was a trip i don't think he'll be lying about that purpose so everyone would say who that girl i slowed the beat down i put 808 specifically on your verse so when it got to your part in the beat drop everyone would be like oh the, the girl is the craziest one that's what smart ass shit. i ain't gonna lie when, when that shit did slow down and, and then like when that shit came out i was like oh my god i ain't gonna lie that nigga's a genius He's a genius, cause on I me, mean, I was like, damn, she, she the coldest. I, oh God, I think those, I think those, those are exact words I said. <laughs> no cap, no cap. I think I actually said those words. So he, boy, if this true, he ain't lying. Damn. I think I burst the night before we even went to on the radar on my phone, bro. I typed, I, I, I got the voice, I got the reference. What the we talking about? You ain't never, you ain't never wrote no, no a song in your life. The reference is crazy. That's why ain't no music came out since you've been live. Cause you ain't got no music. Cause you can't rap. <laughs> what are you talking about? Caribou, drop some. Hey, if it's false, drop some. You better, you better drop some soon. And I was no and it got to be hard. Like if, if it don't be hard, then it's gonna be like. Is, is what Yanni said true? Hey, you don't have to. Nothing. I'm my mother's life. I was gonna let you go live your life and go get a new writer and go get a stylist and go do you. I don't wanna speak on you, but you gonna go on the internet and say I'll you, Kara. I've never. You, I let you live in my house for free. You mm -hmm. lived in my house for free when you didn't have nowhere to live. I let you live in my house. Mm -hmm. I let you live in my house for free. Yeah. I let you live in my house for free when you was disrespecting free. my home security and telling them that they 
they beneath you and that they better shut up and watch this house because they work for you when they work for me. Same way you That's talk right. to people at the label, same way you talk to the touring person, the touring manager. If that is true, some people don't deserve pain. I'm gonna lie. Some people don't deserve pain. Like, if you, if you will ever fix your mouth to tell somebody that they're beneath you because you earn more than them, that's the lame, that's, bro, that's lame as hell. So if that's true, brother, bro, that's lame as fuck. Like, I can't even, I don't, one, if, if, if somebody doing that, bro, we got to cancel their ass, like, real life. Because we, like, you, you got to re remember at the, end, at the end of the day, bro, most of these rappers, most of these social media influencers, most of uh, these act, bro, most of anything, like anything that's business related, period, can't happen without customers, bro, or fans. Like, so if you not buying somebody clothing brand, if you not buying these um, restaurants food, they going out of business, y'all. So if they ever got the, the, the nerve to fix their mouth and say, yeah, like, we bigger than you, we better than you, we gonna earn more than you. Okay, bet. We're not buying, we're not listening to your songs, we're not coming to your restaurants. Boy, we, boy, we've been a boycott, yo, the, but bet, boy, I'm telling you. every receipt on how you talk to people in group messages. That's messed up, right? I don't, um, I, I, I got, I don't, I be saying that he got receipts of it, so. Look at Instagram and Twitter, I'm going to go you know. I, I didn't sleep for 17 hours, bro. I'm going to sleep at 20 a.m. I woke up at 7 p.m. Sick, throwing up, I'm throwing up right now. Sweet God, throwing up right now, bro. Up, and you on here got me up, bro. You got me up, bro. They couple hours before my birthday, bro. You got me. Not I ain't never did nothing but be nice. I ain't never did nothing but be there. I ain't never did nothing but love you. Brought you around every rapper, any rapper, bro. Throw everybody from Baby to Drake to. Bro, I put, I get, I, I, I put you on someone. Come on, bro. I'm completely sober, bro. Y'all, I, I know. <laughs> Come on, bro. We not gonna we not gonna act like it, bro. Like like I'm crazy, bro. I was you was my best friend, bro. Like, come on, bro. I made sure I gave you this career. What are we talking about? The fuck are we talking about, bro? Not to this Mitch situation. But here's the part where he talks about Mitch. I don't want to tell my son, yeah, uh, disrespecting his friend in front of Key Glock. I didn't, I didn't. That I, bro. I said, ah, right, you know what? I'm gonna give you a platform. I'm gonna find someone to sponsor us. And I'm gonna give you a platform. We're gonna make a podcast, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show people how funny you are. I'm gonna show people how crazy you are. I'm gonna show people like how cool you are, right. and it's gonna give you a platform. Yeah, that's real. That's real. You know what I'm saying? That's real. I ain't wanna do no mother ass. I'm a mother rapper. Got millions of dollars. I don't need to talk to other rappers. What are we talking about? I did the podcast for Mitch. Damn. Don't put got. Three, three, four hundred thousand dollars in Mitch's pocket. Y'all see him talking about something. He disrespecting his friend. And I got, I'm, I ain't cool with Mitch, bro. I talk, I, I been sleep all day. I wake up to this crazy. Mitch, how the, I say, Mitch, how the you been going on the internet and tell these folks that we playing, bro? That's it. Like, I don't, I don't, like, I just feel like there's so much that happens, like, in social media, bro. Like, like, you didn't come immediately. Like when people was talking about you, um, and Kendrick and all that, bro, you didn't come out like immediately, like, yo, bro, we know what it is with me and Drake, bro. Like, you see what I'm saying, bro? Like, they got goddamn six million views on it. Bro, you ain't going and telling folks we playing. Man, it's Twitter, bro. You know how that is, bro. You know how Twitter is, <laughs> That's bro. True. You know how Twitter is, bro. All right, and then the podcast, nigga. Damn. Yeah, he made that on the radar freestyle for Caribou. Yeah, and you can see the date. It's safe. September 22nd, 2023. <laughs>
y'all probably wondering, okay, has anybody responded since Lil Yachty said anything? Mitch actually had something to say, and he tweeted a few things. But he started off with this. He said, all right, let's clear some things up, dot, dot, dot. But more the story, throughout this tweet, he just saying that please don't let the clip misguide you. It doesn't represent him and Lil Yachty's friendship, and that they joke around a lot, you know what I'm saying? And it could get pretty harsh. And a lot of people feel like he just lying because he want to save his podcast. Because, you know, I know Lil Yachty said, no, cut the podcast. I'm done with that. You know what I'm saying? He not only said that, he made another tweet. He said, I ain't nobody, little bro. The nigga said the next podcast will be epic, even even think we need a guest this time. See you around. Nigga, there's no podcast no more. You're cut. Never been. You're Check cut. my history. I had stats before I met, bro. All I ever wanted to do was just focus on the music and being involved in the culture in a positive way. I hope none of that hinders that. Yachty is done with the podcast. He's done with Caribou. He didn't expose everybody, and we're here. Lil Yachty came on live and said that Caribou is disrespectful. So basically, everything that Caribou was saying about Lil Yachty when she had made that tweet or whatever yeah. and said that, confirming that she was getting by the whole group. Lil Yachty is saying that yo that's all wrong caribou was the one that was the managers and stuff she's the whole team she acted like she was somebody she wasn't she was verbally in the security and that Lil Yachty did everything for her including the on the radar freestyle and writing on her raps that's why she's that's making right. songs but now she's not clearly making songs no more because she doesn't have a writer but anyways y'all let me know how y'all feel about this whole scenario um well i don't know maybe she got like a sis schedule i don't know i literally don't know these people Maybe she has a set schedule and she gonna release music soon. If I'm her, it's best to re release music soon because this nigga basically just said, nigga, I created you. You won't be done without me. I write all your raps and I try to drop out. I mean, try to drop out the song. Like, let's see how I do without me. That basically, he, he literally tested you. And your next song gotta be a banger. I ain't gonna lie. But y'all, y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions down below. I love y'all. Stay safe and I see y'all next video. We out.